mineral water. And this morning, I'm privileged to have in the studio um, the CNN multi-choice African journalist for 2010 for Arts and Culture. And he's in the person of Kofi Akpabli. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. And hey, congratulations. Thank you. You know, <laughs> it's interesting to know that he, he actually wrote an article on soup that that won the award. And I'm, I'm just wondering what is it about soup that caught his attention or, you know, that, that made him develop that particular interest. Well, I don't thank know. you. Um, I don't know. Good morning, viewers. <laughs> uh, before I answer your question, <laughs> I would like to use your platform to um, say a big thank you mm. to all those friends, family who have supported me okay. in, in this uh, event. Mm. Um, to your question, or maybe we should start from writing. How do you start writing in the first Well, I started writing way back at this from that St. Paul Secondary mm. School in the Volta region. Um, that first writing had to do with uh, a play, mm -hmm. um, but that's ancient history. Mm -hmm. um, I actually started journalistic writing in the northern region, okay. Uh, okay. particularly in the Upper East region where I was doing my national service. Okay. Um, the it was my first time mm. beyond Kumasi. Um, the the newness of the place, the the, the culture, mm -hmm. the the goodness of the people. Okay. It was refreshing, mm. and I started sharing it with people, okay. and it graduated into reporting on those things. So, so that's how I started writing. Were you living in Accra then? Yes, I'm an Accra boy. Yes, you born see, when you live in Accra, Kutubabi, it Kutubabi. looks like now Accra, the Accra culture is getting mixed up. So when you travel up north, then you feel the real Ghanaian culture of the people there. Is that why you, you could actually feel all the serene and all that in the northern region? Yeah, for me, that's mm -hmm. how it happened. Mm -hmm. For someone else, it might be different. It could be a cultural shock. Mm. Interesting. Now let's talk about the day you received the award. I think um, you were one of 40? No, we were 27. 27 African We're 27 now. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we're 27. Mm -hmm. And how was the feeling like? It was good. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier you told me <laughs> something else, and that's what I'm interested in. <laughs> what did I say? I forgot what I told you. It, it, was, it was good. At that stage, mm -hmm. it, um, it's good enough mm -hmm. because um, we were taking from about 27. 2,700 okay. year um, entries and um, when you get called as a finalist, that's it okay. because uh, you get the recognition and everything. Um, to be called on stage for an award, um, it's, it's almost divine. Okay. Yeah, it's wow. yeah because So even as a finalist you 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 have no idea whether you'll be no, called. No. It you, you, you you really do not even know what you are being put in for. Okay. Um, the judges will interact with them, the organizers will interact with them mm -hmm. on a daily basis, but they are very good at keeping a tight lip. Okay. So you don't know anything until that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was good. Then the moment came. And then the name also came, Kofi Akpabli. How was the feeling like? Well, I, it was good. That's <laughs> what I <laughs> said. I just thought right, so I to pick my prize. That's all. <laughs> I don't know if the camera <laughs> could uh, pick this, but this is the story that won the award. It says, the serious business of soup in Ghana. And um, there's um, a little, it says, in Ghanaian culture, the concept of soup defines the real the home meal experience. And I, I saw one or two lines here. In Ghana, no, no, no. What is soup? Philosophically, soup is what makes the Ghanaian say, I haven't eaten all day simply because all he or she has done did not contain soup item. And then also it defines a soup as, a soup is what makes people look forward to going home after a long day's work. Now, what is it about soup? And... Um, your article, I mean, what? Um, I, I, I've always said this. I didn't set out believing that soup is very special and okay. I could even win, no. Um, I, as a freelancer, I like to look at things that we overlook. Mm. So I just pick one item that we relate to closely, and that's soup. Uh, what really made it for me was when I started 
talking to sources. When I started interviewing bachelors, I started talking <laughs> to uh, housewives, okay. um, Ghanaians living abroad. Then the interesting aspects of the subject matter started coming. Mm -hmm. So um, I could also add that the approach, mm -hmm. the approach also tickled um, the, the readers and in this case the judges. Hmm. It's true because uh, I don't know, he said that this, the issue of soup is the issue of serious recurrent investment. When Ghanaians complain about the effect of the economic crunch on their food budget, they are significantly talking about the cost of soup. Really, is that the case? Yeah, you and I know that. <laughs> um, if you are going to have fufu and a benkwine tonight for supper, then it should how much would the fufu cost our pocket, compared yeah. to the soup? Uh, think about the story is that it's one of the easiest stories I've ever done. Okay. Yeah. Um, there is nothing in there that the average Ghanaian doesn't know. Everybody knows everything I put there. Mm -hmm. But the journalistic input is how I gathered the information, okay. how I synthesized them, put them together, and then the storytelling techniques mm -hmm. I used. Okay. I think those are the issues that made the story. Yeah, really, because I started yeah. reading it and I was all smiles and laughing and laughing and laughing. You know, it brings home some some things that we, we probably have taken for granted. Yes, um, that's one of my personal uh, beliefs, okay. my personal styles, yeah. if you may, Abigail. Um, I believe life is hard. I believe <laughs> people don't have time. Yeah. I believe there's so much to read. Mm -hmm. So each time I sit to write, mm -hmm. uh, I make sure it is well researched, okay. it is interesting, and it is simple. All right, um, have you won other awards? Um, yes, I have. Um, mm. Apart from the story I told you about which won first prize national playwriting contest, okay. I also won a biodiversity award in 2002 mm -hmm. uh, for a story I did on the baobab tree. Okay. And here again, the north comes in because I was so inspired by that tree, mm -hmm. and then I did a story on it, and then there was another um, competition I took part in that won me an award to go to um, UN headquarters okay. in 2007 to cover the climate change mm -hmm. uh, summit. So you now you have the biggest award. You call it the biggest award. How are you first handling the fame with this award, and then after this award, ne what next? Um, this award means I've been working hard and I've been working well. Okay. Um, it quickly also challenges me because then I have to work better and work more mm -hmm. than I had done. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to work harder. No, you skipped my earlier question. I said, how are you handling the fame? You don't oh, how am I handling the fame? Yes. Oh, um, I think I'm doing well. I, I, um, I, <laughs> I don't usually like to be in the sport. Can I get <laughs> your award? You know how it is when... So, yeah. this is the award. Um, I don't know if the camera is able to get it, but CNN Multi Choice African Journalist for 2010. That's the award. And it's to Kofi Atabli Freelance for, should I add it? Yeah, freelance for Daily Graphics yeah, Ghana, 29th May 2010, Uganda. So this award was presented to you in Kampala, Uganda, right? Yes. Mm. Yes, yes. I don't know what you said about handling the fee. Um. I try to live as normal as mm. possible. Um, maybe it's early days yet, but mm -hmm. I think so far so good. So are you ra currently writing anything that you think, uh, or we should just watch out for Yes, I, I'm, I'm writing. What I've also developed quickly mm -hmm. is um, a personal website, mm -hmm. because I get a lot of people saying that um, the kinds of writings I do are wasted in dailies. Okay. They would want to be able to access it okay. anytime okay. they want. Okay. So okay. Uh, the website is www.kofiakpabli.com. Okay. Um, I'm also doing a book. Mm -hmm. uh, it's entitled A Sense of Savannah. It's a collection wow. of uh, travel tales in northern Ghana. All right. Yeah. Um, finally, how does it feel like to be a freelancer in Ghana here? Uh, it's challenging. Mm -hmm. To be a freelancer means you have to be able to motivate yourself. Okay. Because you don't have the institutional backing. 
you don't have as it were editorial conferences mm -hmm. where you decide on storylines yeah. so it's all up to you and then um, you the, the the positive aspect of it is that you have the freedom to identify your own storyline okay. and pursue them okay and then when you pursue them finally you know you pursue them to the extent that you win bigger awards like you've won for yourself yeah if if you're lucky <laughs> <laughs> okay so i have been talking to Kofi Akpabli, the CNN multi-choice African journalist for 2010 for the arts and culture category. We say congratulations, and the whole of GTV says congratulations to you. Thank you. All right, so the breakfast show continues. It was brought to you by Baltic Mineral Water. Don't say just water, say Baltic. The show mm -hmm. continues to stay. It's up for grabs right at your doorstep. 75,000 Ghana cities every week for 10 weeks. And you could be the one to win it in the Zen Live Your Dream 2 promotion. To win, load two Ghana cities or use 50 Ghana pesos top time per day to get an entry to the weekly draw. Lots of other great prizes also on offer. Come on and live your dream too. Zen, a wonderful world. of this guy.